Hello guys and welcome to DTech. In this video I'm going to show you how to connect your Huawei phone to your smart TV. I need to tell you that it is really easy and you just need to follow a few steps and after that you can happily use your phone with your smart TV. So let's go! First of all you need to find the wireless projection switch. You can do this by pulling down the notification bar and then seeing your switches. Now you just need to click on that switch and you will see all the available devices. You just need to tap the device you want to connect and then you just need to wait for that connection to happen. After connecting your phone to your smart TV it will show you and it will tell you that it has multiple options to do. So for example you can just go with the screen mirroring but if you would like to you can also use this phone as a desktop. And to be honest with you this is the coolest part so I'm just going to show you how to do this. You just need to pull down the notification bar again and you just need to tap on the desktop mode. After this you will see the desktop mode appearing. So in my opinion this is a really really cool desktop mode. I mean if you are thinking about Samsung and all the decks with all the cables and all the devices you need in order to do this. And you can just simply do this with a Huawei phone without anything else. You just need a phone and a smart TV. Obviously if you would like to you can connect a keyboard and a mouse as well. In the following seconds I will show you a few things you can do with this desktop like mode and why am I telling you that it is desktop like mode? Well because to be honest with you you obviously cannot compare this to a Mac OS or a Windows but it is doing the job really really great in my opinion. You can do a lot of cool things with this desktop mode. For example, you can just create simply and easily a new folder. You just need to tap with two fingers and you will see this. So after that you just click to a new folder and then you can rename it obviously from your phone or if you have a keyboard connected from that. So I will just name this folder 1 and I will just save it. The cool thing is that if you are disconnecting from your smart TV and going back to your phone and using it normally and then you are going back and you are using a desktop mode again, you will see that folder in the exact same place without any modifications. So it's so nice because it is saving you this folder. And obviously it is saving you all the settings you have done. Obviously you do not need to stick with these wallpapers, you can easily change it. You just need to tap again with two fingers in the same time the screen and after that you will see change wallpaper. So after that you just need to go to search your photos and you just need to select the one you like. You can do other great things as well, for example you can change the screen size. You just need to tap again with two fingers and then you can change your screen size. You can choose between the large, the medium and the small depending on your needs. If you would like to see all your apps you just need to click on that icon which is situated on the bottom left corner and boom you will see all your apps. By clicking on that part of your screen which includes the volume, the Wi-Fi the connection, the battery life, you will be able to access the notification center. Here you can do obviously almost the same things you would do on the notification bar on your phone. If you would like to go back to your phone mode you just need to pull down the notification bar again and then you just need to tap on the phone mode. It's that simple, it's that easy and then you will actually go back to a screen mirroring situation. If you would like to disconnect you just need to pull down the notification bar again and tap on disconnect. So that was all. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget the subscribe button is just one click away from you.